I'm going to describe three approaches to modification of a mineral microbiome, MMB, to produce metals in solution from which they can be recovered in solid form. Shown here is a cartoon of an MMB. It could be an operating mine, a tailings pond, or a metal scrap pile. Microbes that decompose minerals or metals exist in each of these MMBs. Genome sequencing can be used to determine their identity. In the first approach, a sample of the identified microbes is taken from the MMB, and their genetic machinery is modified to enhance metal or mineral dissolution. This might be done by forced adaptation or by transduction using a non-lytic virus containing the appropriate genetic sequences that enhance metal production. The modified microbe is then inserted into the MMB to create a modified MMB that produces metals. In the second approach, metagenomic information related to the dissolution of metals or minerals is taken from the MMB and used to modify an existing, possibly simple, microbe obtained elsewhere and to construct a, a new biological system with enhanced ability to dissolve metals or minerals. A microbial community of the modified microbe is then exposed to the desired metals or minerals, likely in conjunction with a larger system for metal production. This could be called a synthetic MMB. In the third approach, the MMB is modified in situ using one or more of a variety of methods such as genetic transfer, chemical additions, or genetic editing. The result is a transformed MMB. Combinations of these three approaches are conceivable. To date, only the first approach has been applied in a bioreactor. The challenge, and it's an exciting and interesting one, is to devise ways to apply these approaches to any mineral microbiome.